Hello everyone, it's pudding time, it's festive season, I've had many requests for desserts and I'm doing it especially for my viewers and the nice part about this is that all the desserts I'm going to make will be donated afterwards. Okay, so first things first, I whopped up some cream, lots of it because I'm making, I'm keeping some for another dessert and I've used one liter of the whipping cream the long life where you have to chill it overnight the box and I threw in vanilla essence and icing sugar you can also use the organic fresh cream or the whipping cream or the whipping cream you like I've got an assortment of chocolate I've got the milk chocolate and I've got the dark chocolate and I'll just figure out as I go along what I'm going to use for what and how I'm going to decorate it. Okay, now on the other side. This is uh, going to be where you just buy everything ready made and assemble everything. The only thing I made was the cake. So this is also um, custard I bought at the shop. I will show you a video again of how to make homemade custard, don't worry. And then I bought these different sauces. It's the raspberry one, the tropical one. If you see my video of the cheesecake I made with this sauce, my Nobel cheesecake, and then it's the mixed berry one. I'm still deciding which to use. I'm going to use some of the sauce and water it down to put some syrup, like make a light syrup, and put it on my cake when I layer it. Now I've got some cherries that's going on top. And I baked the cake and I needed the for the right dimensions I baked a square cake for the recipes also on my channel type in chocolate cake nice and soft looky looky okay and then I forgot to tell you you can decide if you want to make your own chocolate mousse I'll show a video of how to do that in the near future or buy your chocolate mousse and you can also use instant chocolate pudding. I'm still deciding if I'm going to put in the one or the other or both. Like I said, it's up to you. You can do whatever you like. Okay, so let's begin. Okay guys, so let's begin with assembling the chocolate and berry trifle. So I've got the berry sauce that I've just diluted with a little water, equal parts, and I'm just going to brush on, and this will make the sponge nice and moist and give it some berry flavor. Chocolate and berries go well together. There we go. Okay, put a little bit more on the edges. Okay, and now I'm going to decide how I'm going to lay it. I'll put the chocolate next, or the custard, or the cream. Okay, the custard is heavier, so I'll add the custard next. Okay, and now I'm going to add my chocolate mousse. Can you guys see? Okay. Then I'm going to pipe some cream, shavings of chocolate, and then we repeat. Okay. Don't have to make it too flat because the cake will squash it a bit. Like 
I said you can use the chocolate pudding as well. There we go. Now next some kick. I mean some cream and then kick. Okay, I've added the fresh cream. Like I said you can make any layer you like. I'm just doing what <laughs> I like. Okay. And now I'm gonna grate some chocolate over. the cream, the whipped cream. Okay, one second guys. Okay, here's my dark chocolate. You can use milk chocolate as well if you like. And just a quick repeat the layers and we'll be right back okay so now I'm gonna put the cream on You're going to do the berry sauce and pipe rosettes on top. Kiffin Krum. Is it? Yeah, let's do that. Now the berry sauce in the center. Looky, mm. looky. They're going to enjoy this trifle. Then some grating of chocolate. You know, if I'm less on the the raspberry and dinner, I'm going to grate some more chocolate and put over just now. I'll just finesse it a bit. Oh yeah, 
it looks beautiful let's see yum <laughs> okay guys here's the end result the chocolate and berry trifle and there was ingredients left so I made another big one look at that Hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone.